name is Alexandra and I'm studying International Management at IHAE. This stands for Internationales Hochschulinstitut Zittau. What makes my study so special is that I'm doing a double degree with the University of Liberec in Czech Republic. So in the end of my studies, I will have a degree from the University of Dresden as well as a master degree from the University of Liberec. I can freely choose between the courses in Liberec and Zittau. That's a great opportunity for my future. Together with my fellow student Sammy, we want to show you where we're studying. While I'm going to Liberec now, Sammy will show you the most important spots here in Sittau. So, see you later! Hi, my name is Sammy and I'm a student studying at Ihai Zittau on the master's course Ecosystem Services. Ihai Zittau is part of the TU Dresden campus and is located in the German state of Saxony in the far east of Germany. The town of Zittau is walking distance from both Poland and the Czech Republic. The town of Zittau is accessible from Dresden by approximately a one and a half hour train journey and is only half an hour from the Czech city of Liberec. Ihai Zittau's unique location makes the institute an extremely diverse and multicultural hub in the centre of Europe. For example, in my Ecosystem Services course, we have 20 students from 12 different countries across four different continents. The university's offices and teaching buildings are located here in the main square of Zittau, which also happens to be a nice and peaceful place to sit and have a coffee with friends. I will now take you up the tower and we'll take a look at some of the beautiful panoramic views from the top. Meanwhile, Alexandra will show you around the town of Liberec. Hello everybody, so I just arrived in Liberec. I'm now at the campus of the Faculty of Economics and here I will have my next lesson. The campus is much bigger as every faculty has its own space in the city. But there's also a main campus which is very big and it's beautiful to see. But today I will just focus on the campus of the Faculty of Economics as I'm studying here. So first we need to go upstairs as I have my class there. Now I'm at the classroom and waiting for the professor. So see you later after class. So I just finished my lecture and now I'm again in the area of entrance of the faculty. And here's also the entrance to the library. As it's a library, I'm not allowed to talk, so I will be very quiet and just show you around upstairs. Downstairs there's another area I will also show. So here I'm downstairs of the library. It's a great place because here students have space for relaxing but also for practicing their presentation or working on their group work. They have sofas, chairs, water and everything they need. As I'm doing the double degree, it's very helpful. I'm able to use the library in Liberec as well as in Sittau. What makes my study so special is the intercultural exchange. We are here next to three borders, so all the students have a completely different background and it's great to learn more about the culture. It's a great possibility because here I'm speaking many different languages. I already learned Polish language, as it's also quite near to the border, and also Czech language. My day in Liberec is already coming to an end. So let's head back to Zittau to meet Sammy. It took a lot of steps to get to the top here, but now that I'm here, I want to share this beautiful view with you. And this tower is a landmark of Zittau, and from up here, you can get beautiful panoramic views of the city. In this region, you can see the tri-border point where the countries of Germany, Poland and Czech Republic meet. Over here, we have the Zittau Mountains, which are a popular destination for activities such as hiking and rock climbing, and it's very busy in the summer during the holiday season. Over here, we can see the Olbersdorfer Lake. The Olbersdorfer Sea is a lake that historically used to be used for coal mining, but closed in the early 1990s and has since been converted into an area for nature and recreation. Nowadays, the lake is surrounded by forests and even has a sandy beach, making it the perfect location for a picnic with friends or for stretching your legs by taking a walk to get some fresh air. Therefore, the lake perhaps symbolizes the tiles transition away from a polluting pass towards a more sustainable future 
and this is reflected by the teaching approach at Ikai Zetao. Okay, you've now had a nice overview of the city, the surroundings and the main building. We will now head over to the Menza where we'll meet Alexandra for lunch. Hi, nice to meet you! How are you doing? I've not seen you in a long time. Fine! Here we are in the Menza in Sitau and it's a great place to grab some food. It's also the perfect place to study and it's always nice and quiet. But now let's have some lunch because I'm very hungry from all the journey from Liberec. So let's go! Me too. I'm now heading to Zetao train station. From here, you can go to many different locations. Last semester, I had a lot of my lectures in a town called Golitz, which is north from Zetao. It's a very beautiful town and has more heritage listed buildings than anywhere else in Germany. This semester, I've chosen a focus area in Dresden. After paying a small semester fee, students can travel freely within the state of Saxony, meaning it is easy to explore the region. Goodbye. Now I'm going to show you the dormitories. Many students are living here in Zittau, as well from the IHI Zittau and also from the University of Applied Science. Most students choose to live in the dormitories, which are right next to the Mensa and the library. They are all run by the organization of Studentenwerk Dresden and they have their offices right here. They help you with any issue you have with your accommodation. They provide help and support so that the students can feel comfortable and happy in the living space. Of course, there are also some students who don't want to live in the dormitories and prefer a private accommodation. You can find these possibilities all over the city center. There are many different options. You can live, for example, in shared flats with up to eight people. Or if you prefer a bit your privacy, then you can also live in a private apartment. Me, for example, I'm living in a family apartment with my husband and child. What I like about our life in the dormitories is a shared public area. Here you have the possibility to play table tennis, volleyball or make barbecue in the evenings. Moreover, we have a private student club downstairs. That was our campus tour here in Sittau. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see another campus tour of TU Dresden, you can click here. Or if you want to see another video of TU Dresden, you can click here. It would be great if you subscribe the channel to see all the videos which will follow. So, see you! Bye!